Who's ready to get your fill of risk? I'm Phil, my top grandmaster playing risk global domination. On my channel, we talk strategy. So for tips, tricks, and techniques, subscribe and follow. Don't you hit my three the first turn. Come on. Okay. Okay. We put alliances on. We have no alliances. Oh, no. I make a mistake like every time. No alliances. Quarantine, thank you for the sub. Thank you. All right, so we're playing Classic Fixed, which is fixed cards on the Classic map. And we are, what else? Expert AI, neutral, bot. Blizzards are on, alliances are off. Fog and blizzards are off. All right. Um, I'm gonna make an alliance with blue. I can't. All right, I can't make an alliance with blue. So we're just gonna... I make medium-sized spots. They rarely ever get hit. And then I move them together into a bigger one. So, and that's what I start doing at the beginning of the game. I start with seeing how people play. So, like, red came towards, what? Australia. Um, pink consolidated in Africa towards Australia and moved into Australia. Uh, I think that orange made a pretty decent first move, but it doesn't make sense to me. You either add here, like, because it's, it, if blue wants it, they might hit your five, right? Maddie, thanks for the raid. Oh, oh. Pink got smoked. Guess what? Oh, guess what, purple? Red's going to hit you back. Red's going to hit you back. you got to look what direction people are moving and, you know, where they add their, their territories. So this five might just be gone, right? So if I'm orange, I would have gotten out of there or I would have invested everything in there. Four goes on the six. I need to take a card somewhere, and right now it's not looking good. Maybe pink hits is three for me. They want to go all. They want to go all in. Oh, don't you dare slam that! Don't you dare. Okay, maybe this two is my next take, or I can add two in North America. No one's claimed North America. It might survive. You're a party of one. Yes, but you're still the best party, Maddie. Pink's not enjoying life. No, they did something stupid, and so did Purple. Full AU noob. I'm gonna look like I'm doing it too, because my best take is right here, and I don't wanna block everything. I could block myself this way. Guess what? We all die. Everybody dies. Look at this. I'm the Australian noob too. I have a 12 there. Because I'm the Australian noob too. And a wild. Party of Five. Like the TV show. I never watched that TV show, by the way. I'm a contemporary to that show, but I never watched it. I'm hoping Blue moves out and maybe I can move into Europe. Thank you, Yoda. Yeah, it wasn't it like um, a show geared towards teenage girls? Like teenage girls like to watch it? I think that Orange is looking for North America. I might end up moving into Europe here and just letting what happens in Australia happen in Australia. Yeah, I think that's my play. I think I move into Europe. All right. 
because I don't care about Australia. You guys noob slam each other away. Or I could slowly move towards having all my troops by Australia and see what happens. That might be fun, but I don't think it's the best play. These guys are going to have three cards soon. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let that play out. You guys, I'm just going to let that play out. I really don't want to be part of your Australian noob fest. And it sucks that I'm blocked, but that's the way it is. And I'm hoping that these people get out the way. Move, red. Get out the way. Get out the ray. And purple. That was an interesting move. They just want North America. They just want North America. I have a big trade, I'm pretty certain. I'm not going to use it. No one watched it, but Jennifer Love Hewitt. Uh, you yeah, her. <laughs> I feel like Team Yozer has it all figured out. All right, so what are you going to do, Purple? I think you should get a take with your four so I can consolidate just for that reason. But quite frankly, your four is locked. You're going to take with your four and add somewhere else and try to survive. That's your best play. Neutral bots. Everyone's still playing. Everyone's still playing. I hit with the four and go into my 14. And just have a big old stack there. I don't think I trade because I don't think anyone can kill me. And I don't think anyone should kill me. Now, if this comes out, then blue could kill me for four cards. No, they block their troops. They block their troops. Down at Fraggle Rock. Go take Australia. It's all yours. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. It's all yours. Nobody's going to slam you back. Nobody. I'm not going to clean all these people up for you. It's not a big deal. Not this turn. Not this turn. Not really. Not really killing everybody. But I'm certainly killing some people. Red. Red trades. Slam back, man. That's your play. Slam back. That's your play. Watch somebody just slams a stack into me for no reason. All right, North America. There you go. All right, since I don't get a trade, I'm not killing anybody this turn. Quite possibly, there's a future kill here on purple. If red moves the right direction, it's purple and and orange in one term. Make this a nine. Put the rest here. If red moves over to this two. Come through, just start killing people. To see what happens. See what happens. They have 34 troops. I might be able to do it. I might be able to kill them both. I have to get to that nine, though. That sucks.
They opening this direction for me. Yeah, I don't know if I can kill them. I gotta trade because otherwise blue kills me. Madagascar, you're raw. Yeah, I don't think it's worth killing people because of how what I have to pump through. Okay. I can make that an 8v4. And then still maybe kill purple. I don't know. I can also kill pink and take their continent next turn. Add a couple here, make it a seven, six, five, four, and then come through and kill them. It's a fairly good play. How many tournaments do I usually play? I usually like to play tournaments. I like to play one at a time. And lately I've been doing the, the biggest free for all that's happening like that quarter or whatever. Um, Yeah, I forgot about that too. Hit that too. Either hit that too or you protect that too. All right, can't kill pink. Unless red hits it. Can't kill anybody. I just want to kill people. Why can't I do that? Why can't I just kill people? Um, so... That's yeah, that's my my thought process is 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 the biggest free for all tournament at the time. Um so worlds or legends or whatever. But right now uh I haven't played a tournament in quite a while because uh I'm coaching high school football, American football. So I'm uh off JB offensive coordinator and the varsity linebacker and um running back coach, which is what I played when I was young. So yeah, why would you attack there? Everybody lives. This is the better one because it doesn't block me. So I'm a busy guy. Yeah, I'm kind of like a noob again at something. You know, um, I've been doing the same career for a long time. So it's interesting to be a noob again. Thank you, Maddie. But I like it. I like it. The kids are really good. If blue was still blocked, I would consider killing pink. But I don't think it's the proper play. Probably have a big trade. No, I don't. Blue could kill me. I don't think it's the proper play. I think there's other people that are better to kill, but they could. 
I am the second biggest, so I don't think it makes sense to kill me. And they didn't get hit by one. But I've seen crazier stuff before in my life. Where's my tank? Pink's becoming unkillable. Everybody's just protecting everybody and I don't know if they know it. Like everybody's protecting everybody and keeping them in the game. You're a soccer coach. Yeah, I think you, I think I heard that um, from you <laughs> watching your stream. Uh, I have coached baseball, little league baseball, and t-ball, and I've coached ages four to ten in football, flag football, um, and then I've like stepped in here and there to do different coaching things. So. Um, I have coached before, just not at this level. I haven't coached before where like it means everything. So many hours for the person. Yeah, blue is getting huge. But there's so many of us that like we'll see what happens. Somebody's going to slam somebody and it's going to do something. That's my prediction. So everyone's building in North America. And they're all kind of protecting each other or in North America. They're not slamming each other. This opens up something. Might slam red. Ah, uh, I still have the dude trade. With a wild. What position group am I coaching? I'm coaching running backs and linebackers. Mostly inside linebackers, but sometimes I coach the outside linebackers. And ours are like a um a linebacker safety combo kind of. But running backs for sure. We have a single single back. Yeah, everybody's blocking each other and everybody's protecting each other. It's really weird. They opened orange to die, but now they're too strong. And then red comes in here. Red's been blocking my... Red's been blocking me for a while. It's a risky move to kill pink. I'm already blocked from going this way. I'm rolling the dice that no one's gonna take out 47 troops to get five cards. You played O-line in middle school, you weren't very big, but I guess we were aggressive. We do have a spread offense, yep. Yep, we have a lot of good skill guys and not quite as many linemen. Yeah, we uh, we have a lot of like different trips formations and um, we have twins which spreads two sets of twins out so four receivers we have more power 
formations as well. But um, we do have like a a quicker offensive possibility. He's trying to take out. Okay, so then you die. He kills you. Does blue kill you? Doesn't even kill orange. Gosh darn it. Blue can kill orange and then purple. And if they don't do it, pink can kill, can kill him. Or red can kill him. Maybe if red kills him, it's fine. I mean, I'm definitely killing them both. And then taking North America. If Red doesn't do it, I think Red should do it. Red can't do it. They have to come through me. Yeah. They could fail this. And then Red can still get it. And then I think I come through. I think I move into North America and kill Purple next turn. Is what I do. I think that's my move. And then be over on the side. Did I get a big trade at least? Please tell me this isn't four dudes. Okay. Uh, I don't have a good chance of getting any of those, except for maybe your coos. See if red moves into North America. If red moves into North America, I take Europe. If red doesn't move into North America, uh, I move into North America. Okay, so they moved into North America. They're planning on killing Purple next turn and taking it. I'm gonna try the no guard. And I'll give them one of these. Fortify. Sorry. No alliances. I played D line when I was young, young. But being in, I went to a bigger school and be in a bigger school at 190 and very little body fat, you don't play D line. So you play linebacker if you have any speed. All right, so I don't think purple knows that they're dead. Do I need to kill them? I mean, they're all up in red's grill. Red should kill them. And then should I kill red? I haven't messed with blue the whole game. Hey, Rwand. Yeah, I think I like this. I might get broken here. Hmm. Eh. What if I kill red and purple if red doesn't kill purple? And, they, and red has four cards and purple has. You can't kill purple. They might break me here. Yeah. I 
kill red and purple. I get seven cards if red doesn't kill purple. Red kills purple here. So I need to block against pink. The only way I kill purple is if red fails. The only way they fail is if they don't go fast enough. And they seem to be on pace to go fast enough. So purple only has three cards. You need to hurry, dude. I mean, I'll do it for you. Then red gets to hold. This one. Okay. So red should be my homie. Red should be best buddies with me. You get one of these. I left nothing on the border with red. I killed purple inside them. Blue did me a solid by hitting red's four. I thought, yeah, I thought you know it'd be cool to kill red, but how do you do? How do you do it? Like I could kill red and then be like in a three-player end game and be weak, but they don't have cards. Stay there, dude. Does pink choose to break me even though bl blow blue's bigger? Tell him thanks. So Reg should sit here because I clearly am cool with them. No. I don't like that. I'm not guarding my border. Why are you guarding your border? Do I need a trade? I think I need a trade. Yes, the dudes. This is a risk. I should have probably traded. Six troop. It's a big risk for six troops. I I think I made the wrong choice there. So now we're going to outpace Australia. The person we want out now is probably Brad. 
Okay, so maybe Australia, they block themselves. That's perfect. Watch, watch I do all this for them and then they break me. I might just try to kill them if they do that. Where do I get my card from there? <laughs> I think this is the best place. Unlocking them. Still that dude trade. This one, blue has to break me. Has to take. Okay, so this is the right spot because blue has to hit it or break me. I'm slow, I'm almost caught up to the leaders. Yeah, I don't know why people, I don't know why people, don't know why people see, just stack it all here and threaten everybody. It's a very easy play. Also with this two point guard, I understand that red is trying to not be super threatening to me, but protect that border so no one wants to break the, the backside of red. Oh, blue's a noob. Okay. Do I go internal? Split here, go internal. Play the long game. Yeah, they were in a good spot. Something like this. I lost one. Threat stacks. Threat sex. If you hit me, I hit you. Quit being an idiot. We're neighbors. Hey. Hey. Quit it. I have four cards. I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling. Because this is amateur play. I want to suicide into them. And they're so noobish that if I break them, they break me. So the high percentage play is to just hide my stack in fertile. And 
the play I want to make is slam everything into blue. I'm really struggling. Like, do we want to, like, blue? We could have been cool. Like, we could have, like, held all this stuff together. But I left alliances off. They're going to slam me, right? They're going to slam me. Like, there's a 99% chance they slam me. For n just because I'm the dude next to them. This may stop it. Okay. I think I just leave the area. I add three here and I fortify over. I think I just run away like a dog with a tail between my legs. Hedges, Andre, hedges, a hundred bits. Like taking back, taking back I think is bad. Well, I found the lip balm I lost the other day. And I have one from today. They break you again. Red's bigger than me now. This is a difficult situation to be in. The four player game. I don't want to lock him again. It would be too obvious. I got nervous about it. Blue would have killed me if pink didn't do that. Noobs being noobs. Screen recording the game. Okay, so I can hit India and then move my stack. I don't think they roll a 6v6. Oh, they have a trade. Right back into blue. And they hit the 10. They hit the 10 and the six. Go ahead and hit the one too. I don't think I need to eat this for lunch. This might be a second place game if I play it right. I think blue's taking me out of contention, but this might be a second place game if I play it right. 
Yeah, I think I trade. I think I go one, two, three. I think I add here. I attack here. And I fortify like this. So I don't have cards. My stack is blocked. I unlock pink to hit blue. They only have to hit a three. And I'm just like chilling. I'm not threatening anybody. Pink probably wants my help. But blue will suicide me. Oh, they're done. They're done helping me. They're done hitting blue. All right. How turtly do I need? You have always question what makes people change their minds. Well, blue is going to kill me. And pink attack them instead. Pink has hit blue a few times, but doesn't feel like doing it anymore because it's not getting them anywhere. Like it's becoming expensive, and I moved my stack. So I'm playing very passive because I think blue is, I thought they were suicide type, but they're not really suiciding. I don't think they understand diplomacy at all. I might try taking Europe again, but I might get suicided if I do that. I might just straight up suicide, get suicided if I do that. My high percentage play is just turtling here. That's my high percentage play. I don't have anybody in the game that understands what I'm doing. I don't think red breaks. Now I have to decide if I'm going to hit blue. They've been picked on by pink. So they know if they get into a war with me, pink cleans them up. Oh, my computer was thinking for a moment. I don't know what Pink's doing with that stack. 18. Watch them suicide. No, that wouldn't have been in the route. Oh, suicide them. I wish I had alliances so I could be like, attack you, yes, no, yes, no. Red's thinking about it.
Maybe they're bought. It's a weird time to bot. It's a weird time to bot, right? Yeah, tell me what you do, Nixon Plumber. I amaze you, Andre. They're offline. Okay. Okay, DC Justice. What did DC Justice say? You shouldn't have logged off. I intentionally fortified away from my cap. Oh, did they beat you and then they fortified away from the your cap? So I can passively go to Northern Europe. Take one here and go to Northern Europe. And then pink can break me. Can hit blue as well. Because we're in a three player end game, all is well. But I think pink caught on to what I was doing. The super turtle strategy. I can also stick myself in North America. The next card I take is definitely unlocking pink here, regardless. Blue is seriously considering hitting me. You could take second right now. But you've been playing a long time. Don't you want to play for first? All right, all they have to do is come through blue. I don't think that pink's going to... We're in a state of homeostasis. Red still gone. Yes. The game ends within 10 minutes. Red could conceivably get second. Just opening these guys to each other, and if they break me, they have to unlock my stack. Very passive. Blue not being friends with me caused this game to stalemate. Because we could have stacked on Ukraine and Middle East, been cool with red, and gotten pink out of the game, probably. You don't need to fortify back. Uh... I hope pink can send this turn. They can't communicate. I trade any trade. 
I have a big trade. So blue might just say I want second, which is really third because red hasn't bought it out. They're talking about the cap scheme. Blue hate has hated me. They're just like, this green color, I hate this person. So at some point in time, blue, I think I think this game ends with blue suiciding. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. I can maybe start slamming red at some point. Just like taking their territories and calling it a day. And creating a vacuum in the middle. Mm, they're not smart enough to make it a four. Yeah, blue's a true noob. And if if pink doesn't hit them, then I'm just in trouble. So I need to do something different. They're lining up to suicide me. It's going to move over there. Maybe I should line up against red and like actually hit red and let these guys fight it out and just slowly hit red and then eventually get their cards. It seems like a crazy play. It is a crazy play but it might save the game for me. If I just look like a red noob. And hit this 53 and then just slowly take red. Blue's lining up to suicide me. Blue doesn't care about pink, right? Blue doesn't understand the game. They're gonna kill me. I need to do something. Yeah, they're just doing it anyway. They just are doing it anyway. Go that way. Yep, go that way. Hit pink. This is a weird play. Oh my gosh, hit pink. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. They were thinking about suicide. I mean, did you see them stop and decide which way to go? Oh my gosh. And they don't even do it. They get it. They get it. They get pink's cards. All right. Let's see you 1v1 me now with a deficit. Let's see it. Where's your 36 going, dude? I'm going to smack you so fast and so hard, you're not even going to hit you. And you're going to be sad that you picked on me all freaking game. You get one turn with a big bonus. One turn, dude. And that's it. And then I, I slam you. I'm going to noob slam you so hard. <clears throat> alliances are off. No, alliances are off. I just said he's new. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got emotional because this dude, I can still, uh, good chance I get a card here. And if not, I'm okay. Oh, we should roll 2v1. to roll another 2v1. That's the spot. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I just said he's new. <laughs> DD Dutch says, I'm sorry, but this guy like wanted to kill me. Suicided on someone for a second. Messed with me the whole game. 
I got emotional. I'm a human. What's up, Nathaniel? Good game. Well played. Good luck. He's probably gone. He's probably gone. He was like, this guy's a jerk. I thought he was a nice guy. I'm a competitor, man. No s Yeah, you didn't know I could say. That's it. That's it. You're just kidding. <laughs> it, it was funny. It's funny that you were kidding. I didn't know. You know, we don't know. We're just typing to each other. You're typing to me. So, got it. Oh, that game, I haven't had a bounce. I honestly think if I don't fortify towards red, he chooses to slam me there. I honestly think. I think part of his mind was like, maybe this guy's this much of a noob, he's going to start slamming red. It looks like that's what he's going to do. He didn't break me back. He hasn't done much all game. Like, maybe he's passive. So I think if I don't fortify away and show that I'm doing something else, then I think he slams me instead of blue and I get fourth. So I got first instead. As <laughs> I predicted, it was someone smacking. Well, you can predict that in a lot of games. You got to be the person that doesn't get smacked, right? Beginner, beginner, uh, orange was an expert, novice, intermediate. So, subscribe, follow, leave comments, etc. You know why I thought that? It's because he was, he was protecting his borders and he stopped protecting his borders. And he was lining up and he was opening pink and didn't care about his line on pink. He cared about his line on me. And he was being kind of crazy. Like he was the first one to like kind of crack and do something that doesn't make sense game wise. So good. Thank you, Boone. So that's what, that's what that was all about. 